Something, something people in the UK might not know. We've all seen you like sort of um, judging roast battle uh, on TV in the UK, but something people might not know is that you are kind of feared throughout Northern America as the undisputed champion of roast battles at the Edinburgh, uh, sorry, at the, uh, at the Montreal Comedy Festival. Every year they do like a sort of tournament, an invitational roast battle, and you are people quake in their boots. What's the secret? To writing, what's your secret to writing the perfect roast? How do you, what's the plan of attack? I mean, it's, yeah, so I like that. I mean, there's Roast Battle at UK here, which is a really fun show uh, to do, but it's, it's kind of not about them. It's, it's just that thing of going, it's just about the joke. Writing okay. good jokes is the thing. Okay. And then not, if you think of something funny, you have to say it. You're on your honour to say the funniest thing you can. I don't mind how cruel it might be perceived as it's like you've got to go for it. I did one recently actually, I did, it was my friend's birthday, David Williams turned 50 and I did, uh, and he asked me to say a few words. <laughs> <laughs> now, what happened was, he'd opened the evening, like he gave a little speech at the beginning welcoming all his friends and saying it's great to have you here. And then he said at the end of his speech he went, he went I'd just like to take a moment um, to thank the doctors and nurses that have worked tirelessly the last 18 months on Jimmy Carr's new face. <laughs> so they opened with that. And then, and then I had to, this is another name dropping story, but I had to follow Elton John. So Elton John played at the party and he played, he, did like, he didn't just play, he played beautifully. He did like Tiny Dancer, Rocket Man, and then your song. Like the three best song, I mean, incredible. And then someone went, ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Carr. <laughs> How the fuck do you follow that? Um, so I, I went in quite reasonably hard. I said David Williams changed his name from Williams to Williams to get off that bloody register. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said he's always impeccably dressed. I'm not surprised he spent that long in the fucking closet. <laughs> and I said, I said David Williams... David Williams looks like he's put his face through a Snapchat filter that makes old Chinese men look like Western homosexuals. <laughs> it's funny, because it's true. What's, like, what's the kind of... Because the, because the culture of roast jokes is to say the unsayable, hmm. what is the, what's the most unsayable joke you've ever gotten away with? I got in trouble with Fox News for doing a joke. I was like the number three story on the news. I did one of the Comedy Central roasts. I did the roast of Rob Lowe. And there was a lady on it called... Uh, yeah, let's call her a lady. Fuck it. Uh, there was a lady on it called Ann Coulter. Uh, yeah, okay. Who's a right-wing um, sort of uh, commentator, big Trump supporter. She's sort of like their Piers Morgan. Okay. And Piers Morgan is actually a close personal cunt. Uh, <laughs> Um, so I did a joke about Ann Coulter, uh, which was, I think the, the joke was, Ann Coulter is the most repugnant, hateful, hatchet-faced bitches alive, but it's not too late to change, Ann. You could kill yourself. <laughs> his, his, his... Did you do that little dance afterwards? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I was looking directly at her. <laughs> I followed it with Ann Coulter's pussy is so old and dry, it just got a job drawing cartoons for the New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Jimmy Carr. Thank you very much for watching that. If you could uh, like and subscribe, then uh, Daddy gets more money. So, like and subscribe.